Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to today's video, it's me Mike from Angry Birds and WWE Fan. Today we, we got a massive package from Smith's Toys, got a massive surprise box guys. You know what it is by the thumbnail, but this is amazing guys. We got three figures inside here, it's a 3 in 1 review guys, we're going to unbox it right now guys. If you haven't smashed the subscribe button guys, this video is going to be insane. just want to open it, I just want to be careful, I just want to... Uh, gently open it, don't want to damage anything inside it. Alright, let's open it. Yes, here we have it. Get out of my packaging. Oh my god, guys. Guys, let's take it one by one. We have the Fiend. Oh my god. This is going to be my second Fiend, guys. I have the Elite 77. And now I have the WrestleMania Basic. This is so cool, guys. Um, I got this on, I got this from Smith's Online because I went to a store. They had Drew McIntyre, and Andrade and Ricochet. They did not have... The Fiend and I really wanted the Fiend, I was really upset, so I buy it online. And yeah, guys, the next one we have we have the Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. This is epic. Look at that figure, guys. That's an amazing figure. I wish we got the World Heavyweight Championship, but this is so cool. Here we have the Elite 83 Sasha Banks, guys. This is extremely so this is extremely sick. I love this figure so much. This was actually going to be a ringside exclusive, which is very interesting, but it's not. Anyways, alright guys, let's get started with the figures, guys. Let's first open. Let's let's first open the fiend, guys. No, fiend. I think in the end, yeah, in the end. Alright guys, let's get started, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. We're gonna review the um Drew McIntyre. We have got Drew McIntyre or Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks. Let's go with Sasha Banks, guys, because this this was actually going to be a ringside exclusive, and thank God it's not. If it was a ringside exclusive, I would have um I would have hardly got it because I live in the UK, and how can I get it? Oh my God, <laughs> the the oh, everything just flew off. Like, look at that. Anyways, guys, we have uh, the thing that holds the hands and stuff. Um, we get that tiny bit out. The finger thing that the things that go on her fingers. Oh my! Look at the glasses, man. I love the glasses. We have the Sasha Banks guys. First, let's look at accessories. We got two mic holding hands. Very very cool. They always come in handy. We got legit boss. Uh, yep, legit boss. There we are. I I, I wish it was um colored in there. And this is boss on her glasses. I love the blue. We have Sasha Banks, freaking epic figure, guys. I love the white, black, and blue. And if you guys are asking, um, does it articulate when she's wearing the jacket? Yeah, it does, but it's really hard to put on because um, it's rubber material. Like that, you can just if you want to take it out, just pull the hand out, and then you do this. But oh, I can't wait. I see like a few marks on um my figure for some reason. I'm going to take the jacket off off camera and I'll review the figure guys and I'll be right back. Alright guys, here is the figure guys. This this is so hard. Do not put the jacket on if you're, if you're um, going to play with it. I was What I was actually planning to do is, um, basically, you can clip these back on by the way. What I was planning to do is, um, I was basically, um, when I don't play with it, when, I'm, when I put it on my shelf, I'll put the jacket on it. When I do play with it, I'll just take the jacket off. But... I'm gonna put it on display with the jacket. I mean, I mean without the jacket because the jacket is so hard to take take out. Literally, I was so scared doing it because I really do not want to damage the figure. Here we have the other Mike Holden hands, guys. I'm gonna put the legit boss on her fingers because she's a legit boss. This is when like um she returned and attacks like Natalia. Do you guys do you guys even remember that? So, guys, let me know in the comments if you remember that when um, she attacked Natalia. She attacked, she attacked her. Um, don't know why, but she turned heel, and then she got like she took off her wig, and then she she had like blue hair. I love the blue hair so much; it looks really neat. And then you can put on the glasses, and there's a the legit boss, Sasha Banks. And I love this figure so much. Is this worth buying? Yes, it is. But do not put on the jacket. Trust me, it's really hard to take off. So Mattel, if you're watching this, um, please do give us um, like a cloth jacket. It will, it will legit help us in the future. So yeah, moving on, guys. We have. All right, guys. 
All right, guys, now we're going to review the Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. Here, here is the figure, guys. I am so excited to finally review this figure, guys. We are going to unbox this figure. And it has updated skin tone. Here's the back. You can collect Edge, Drew McIntyre, Dusty Rhodes, King Corbin, and Sasha Banks, and Chase Variant Edge as well. Um, just note that as well. Here's the back, pause to read. Um, Drew McIntyre here, Drew McIntyre here, and here. All right, let's open it right now. And every Drew McIntyre face score is like the best face score of Drew, like, like every true effects Drew McIntyre. Here are the hands of Drew McIntyre, I love the hands, these are the Claymore kick hands, put them in the corner. He, oh my god, here is Drew McIntyre, look at that face score, I love the face score. Um, he comes with this jacket, um, very cool jacket, I love the jacket. Uh, Taking a look at accessories, guys. Let's start with the accessories, guys. Um, clear more kick hands. Let's get more detail with them. Here they are. It looks outstanding. This is when he fought Brock Lesnar. When he beat Brock Lesnar. Amazing jack. Alright, guys. Moving on. We're going to review the Elite 83 Drew McIntyre. I love this so much. This figure has updated skin tone. And I'm a big fan of the figure so much. Like... When, when uh, Mikel showed this figure, I was uh, super duper happy to get this. Here we have the Claymore kick hands. This is when he um, delivers the Claymore kick. Here we have the jacket. Um, Taking off the jacket. It's not as hard, hard as the Sasha Banks like to take it out. You just, just put the shoulders back and then boom. Comes out. If I love... Oh my, come back. I love the detail on the jacket. Look at that jacket, man. I love this jacket so much. I love the details. I love this so much. I love this face sculpt for Drew McIntyre, it really works, it really stands, and if you look at his attire, um, this attire he wore like when he, when he, like, when he fought Brock Lesnar at Wrestlemania, Wrestlemania, and won, and, and pick, picked up his gold, it's so interesting how everyone beats Brock Lesnar, um, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Kofi Kingston, like pretty much everyone. Like, WWE changed some stuff like why why Lesnar why does why does everyone beat Lesnar like make, make like a new bad guy and make a new good guy like seriously but like I'm not I'm not a hater I'm saying like it's pretty cool but like like you can't just have Lesnar as a bad guy all the time like he needs to turn face like you know what I'm saying here's the championship that doesn't come with it guys it doesn't come with it this came with another figure um the face score is amazing outstanding even as the gap between the teeth and he has like um, he has like this triple H torso, I believe. Yep, he does, but like different. It's like, it has like um, hairy torso. And then you can see the details. I love the details on it. It looks outstandingly awesome. A little loose, a little bit because of um, there's no ball joints. So yeah, note that as well. But I think this is a must buy figure. Um, yeah, so if you pick it, definitely pick this up. If you don't have a McIntyre, definitely pick this one up. This one is better than his other elites. I have the Survivor Series Elite link in the description down below. Um, but this is way better, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. All right, guys. Next, we are reviewing the Basic Series WrestleMania Series, the Fiend. Here is the back. You can collect the Fiend Bray Wyatt Drew. Man Amazing jacket, guys. This figure is awesome. I love the figure already, guys. It looks outstanding. Here is the attire with the Brock Lesnar skull, just like the Seth Rollins entrance. Looks very, very clean. I love the detail on the back. Triple H torso, but um, hairy version. We've got this, he even has the gap between the teeth. Like, look at that face skull. Amazing Drew McIntyre, guys. That is the Drew McIntyre, guys. And next, we are reviewing the Basic Series, WrestleMania Series. Um, oh, Basic Series, WrestleMania. Um, Fiend, guys. This is epic. This comes with a jacket this time, guys. Um, I really wanted this. They actually had this, The Fiend, but they did not have Ricochet. I mean, I went to a store, they had all three of them, but no Fiend, and like, scalpers love The Fiend, so I had to buy this guy from online. So, yeah, guys, let's open him right now. Alright, guys, now we're gonna review. Alright, guys, here we have the basic series WrestleMania Fiend, guys. I love the hair. We got updated hair, guys. We have like um, yellowish dreadlocks on his hair. Looks outstanding. We have the tattoo details. Um, I what are those boots? Oh my god! There's no red designs on the kick pads. 
Um, we need boots. We don't need kick pads. I botched it. I, I was supposed to say, I was, I was supposed to say boots, but I said kick pads. The articulation is very stiff, and you can see that's about to come off. But I'm definitely gonna swap the the boots. They're very very bad. Um, take a look at it. it. Looks outstanding. Look, they even dry brushed the red details and stuff. Looks outstanding. Look at that nice dry brush stuff right there. You can see in there out there looks outstanding. But if you look at the back, which is very annoying, Mattel did not paint the back. Let me zoom out the camera. All right, Mattel did not paint the back. That's so annoying. Why? Why would you not paint that, Mattel? Look, you can take it out like the jacket. You can put it on your Elite, um, but oh my god, I nearly dropped the camera. You can you can put it on your Elite 77, I have the Elite 77, but it's just that, link in description by the way, it's just that like, um, you're not going to get the sleeves, and it doesn't say hurt heel on the hands, which I just realised. Um, yeah guys, I think it's really upsetting that Mattel did not paint the back, like why weren't you bothered, like come on man, come on man, but... This time we get a sculpted belt and we got this detail on the vest. Looks outstanding. I love that. I love the face scan. Looks outstanding. I love the like lemonade type color dreadlocks. Feels really good on hand as well. Here's the back. We got a very nice sculpting on the back. I really wish the elite had a sculpted belt. If you don't, if you don't have enough money to get the the ultimate edition, because scalpers sell it for like forty five pounds. In the UK, $49.99. Get the basic and then get the elite. That's this is what I did. I got the elite 77 and I got this because I ain't paying 45 pounds for a figure. That is so much money. Like, come on, man. That's why ultimate editions cost so much money. But yeah, guys, here's the jacket. It looks outstanding. In fact, I'm gonna put it on my elite right now, guys. Here we have my elite 77. Link in the description for it, by the way. Check it out. Um, also review my Survivor Series Drew McIntyre. Um, so yeah, guys, let me put it on my Elite. This is gonna look awesome, bro. Look at that, guys. Oh my God, that looks amazing. All right, guys, we reviewed all three figures, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Before we end the video, here is the figures we reviewed. The Elite 83 Drew McIntyre, that's a must buy. I'm going to rate all of them out of 10, guys. Drew McIntyre, I, I will give, um, I'll give a 9.5 out of 10. There's a 0 0.5 missing because they forgot to add the World Heavyweight Championship. I wish they added that. That would have been epic. Um, it, it, it doesn't really bother me, but 9.5, like, that's, that's pretty high. Really, really high. All right, guys, then we have the basic series WrestleMania Fiend, guys. It's like WrestleMania series Fiend. I love it, they even dry brushed it, I went ahead to swap it with the Elite 77, but I don't want to because, like, um, then the basic won't look that cool, I want the basic to look very, very cool, because that's the scored belt as well. I'll give this uh, an, eight, an 8 out of 10, because that's very cool, but they forgot to paint the back, and there's no hurt heel like this, heel, hurt, like that, you know what I'm saying? And then Sasha Banks, if you want to see what she looks like next to Bailey, um, amazing, like, when you see... These guys used to be a team back then, but wow, amazing man. We come a long, t long, we came a long way. And the face looks like Sasha Banks, but I feel like the lips are a little big and the face is a little small. I think me the lips are a little big. I don't know why. It's because the face is small, a little small. But I think that's a pretty solid Sasha Banks figure, and you should pick this up. But she has like this problem where her thighs like they're actually black. Like, you need to be careful, make sure they don't chip off and stuff, so yeah. I love it, but I just wish, like, they added, like, more makeup and stuff. You know what I mean? I I'll pop one on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, Sasha Banks had, like, different looks. I wish they added, like, makeup, like, makeup face paint-ish look for her. That, that would have been awesome. Anyways, guys. Oh, yeah, one sec. Before we end it, like, some, like... Minor, minor bits on her, on her like wrestling attire. Look, you can see the silver for some reason. That's not supposed to be there. I'll give her uh, um, seven out of ten. I think the face like kind of ruins it, sort of. Seven out of ten. Yeah, let's. I will give like. If it wasn't for the face, I would give her uh, um, like nearly ten point ten out of ten. Like the face just kind of ruins it. But yeah, guys. 
that is my ranking of like the whole set guys and the jacket is very very annoying as well it's the jacket and the face that kind of ruins the figure but it's still a must buy figure i'm not saying it's a bad figure uh, i'm not saying that at all it's a really good figure but yeah guys that is that is the review of drew mcintyre sasha banks and the fiend and stay safe peace out and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out hey guys thank you so much for watching the video if you haven't already please smash the like button comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter in the description down below and i'll see you guys on the next video have a great day